Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing something a little different. This isn't really outdoor gear related. This is more of like behind the scenes at Trailer Mountain related uh, because I shoot a lot of video and a lot of times I'm away from my camera. So, you know, from time to time I also like to show you what kind of equipment that I use to shoot my videos. You know, just for those people who are just getting into YouTube or getting into camera or videography and they want to get a wireless mic system, uh, I use a wireless mic system when I'm away from my camera outdoors, or if I'm close, then I don't. But if I'm away from my camera, but I need to have good audio, a wireless mic system is the way to go. For a long time, I've been using Saramonic mics and Rode mics, and they all work great. Uh, but Comico was nice enough to send me their wireless mic setup. This is the CVM WM200. Now it comes with a, uh, you know, your transmitter, your receiver, and it, all, it does not come with the actual handheld mic, but I never use one. I'm never really interviewing anybody, so that's fine. But I want to get this thing unboxed, because that's what I do. I unbox things for you and show you why you should potentially want to get one of these. And then uh, we'll get outside, and I'll show you the range and audio tests. And then we'll finish up this review. All right, so here it is right here. Let's get this thing open. Wow. All right, that's pretty awesome. It has its own little hard case. This way you can keep it nice and protected at all times, which I really like. It also has a pressure regulator too. Okay, so let's see what we got. All right, so you have a warranty card. Gotta have that. You have a very thick user's manual. I mean, that thing is definitely a book. You have some clips right here. We'll get to that in a minute. So you have an XLR cable and a screw on 3.5 millimeter. The other cables right here. These are your two lav mics. So little lapel lav mic with a windscreen already on it. That windscreen does not come off, I don't think. Oh yeah, it does. The little windscreen does come off. And there's your mic right there. I like that it has these little screw on 3.5 millimeters. So you always know that there's a good connection. You don't accidentally pull it out. I'll set those off to the side. We have some other goodies in here. This is your little dead mouse. Little dead mouse fuzzy windscreen, so that'll help reduce with the wind noise. It has a nice little drawstring on it too. I've used their windscreens before and they work pretty well. You have three of these metallic clips, which I don't know if I'm really a big fan of yet or not, but there they are. You have some cold shoe mounts. Gotta have those. Comes with a few of those, I think. Let me see. Alright, comes with the second dead mouse. And it has three of these cold shoe mounts. So gotta have those. You have one transmitter right here. That's where you plug in your mic, right in there. Screws in. All right, on the side of the transmitter, there's these little tabs right here. Squeeze those and then this little guy opens up and you have two AA batteries that go in there. So we'll leave that off to the side. You have your dual antenna receiver, same kind of scenario. You can choose between A and B channels right there. You have a headphone out for real-time audio monitoring, and then that's your output. That's where you would plug that into your camera, and you have a second transmitter. So I could potentially have two different uh, mics going at the same time for me and a different person, uh, and be mic'd up and recording the video at the same time for both audios, which is great. I just love how everything fits in here nice and easy. You can keep all your cables secure, your mics, your cold shoe adapters, your mounts. We're gonna mount those to the actual camera here in a minute. And you have your two little dead mouse. This thing closes up. Done. Nice and protected. It's also gonna keep all your mic microphone equipment safe and sound. It also has the capabilities of adding a padlock or two. So that would really increase the security of using you know, your own wireless mic setup. You know, these things aren't cheap. When you have one, it's always good to protect your investment. All right, so first things first, let's get the, uh, let's get the receiver out, which is right here. That's the one that has the dual antennas on it. And we're gonna open this thing up. We're gonna put some batteries in it. There's a little battery description on how they go in. Let's have some rechargeable AA batteries right here. Pop that in. And then we'll try to turn it on. If you can see that. 
There you go. So it shows you group A, group B. It's all backlit. It shows you battery life. Yeah, pretty cool. So I'm gonna turn this off just so I can conserve the battery. That's cool, it says see you. And I'll just get one of the, res the transmitters here. So I'll put batteries in this one. Get one of the mics here. Definitely give you a plenty of room for your cable here. And what you do is you plug in your mic, just like that, and then you screw this thing in, just like that, and that's gonna make you a nice secure um, mount so you don't accidentally pull this thing out in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this one on, that's the receiver, I'm gonna turn on the transmitter, and then this one should start communicating. Hello? Yeah, I don't know if you could see that. Let's see here. Hello? Hello? You can see the B volume going up and down, which means it's uh, picking up my voice. It does have these little plastic covers to keep the screen from getting damaged, so I'm going to turn these off. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to mount on the uh, the clips. And I'll show you why, well, what I was talking about, about the clips. So these particular clips are kind of tricky, because there's little holes right here and right there on the bottom side, the back side of the actual mic itself. So what you do is you kind of just stretch this apart and you kind of just work that in just like that. And there's your clip. And these clips are okay, they're solid, but sometimes they pop out and I don't really like that. And what you do here is you get your little mount, because this is how you're gonna mount it to the cold shoe on your camera. that nice and secure and then you can mount this right to the cold shoe of your camera mount and then you have your receiver which is going to stay perfectly solid there's your cable for your out so that goes into the output screw that down and then that's going to plug right into your camera right into the 3.5 millimeter jack and then you can choose which uh, which one you want it to read do you want it to read a the a channel or the b channel or you have it in the middle, it'll read both. So that's super cool that you have multiple options there. As I said, you also have headphone out, so you can do real-time audio monitoring. So if you have a cameraman, I would recommend you do. That way they can hear your audio at all times. And then you have your buttons here for settings, and I'll get to that in a minute. And just like the last one, this goes in the little hole right there just to secure it down. And there's your mount right there, so that'll be for your body pack. You can put this on your hip belt or whatever. Make sure the antenna is nice and secure. And even though we're not going to hook up the second one, I will put the mount on it just so it's done. Okay, so that's all done. And I'll leave that in here nice and secure. It fits in the case, too, with the mount on it. So that's always nice, too, the little clip. All right, so the transmitter has 96 channels. It has less than a 20 millisecond sound delay. It takes two AA batteries. You know, for the most part, it's not that heavy, but this is a metal casing, so I really like the durability of it. Right now, I just kind of have it on... I don't know if you can see that, but it's picking up my voice, and it's just the mic that's down here, right here. I'm using my other mic right now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change mics and then you can hear an audio difference and we'll do some sound testing. Testing, 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 one, two, three. Testing, 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 one, two, three. I'm now using the Comica uh, lavalier mic. Okay, so I'm just using the Comica lavalier mic now. That's this mic I have right here in my hand. That's what's picking up the audio and I'm monitoring it on the actual uh, receiver display so I can actually see that in real time. Another thing that I really like is that while I'm in here I can go into the menu settings. When I go into here I can enable muting which is great. I can mute it. I can set my volume so if it's too loud I can set it to a different volume. I can set it down to 6 or 5. I had it on 8. I can go into uh, RF power setting high Backlight mode, I can set to that uh, to 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 60 seconds are off. So I'll leave it on 10 seconds for now. Mic input settings, I can change those. So I can do line in or mic. LCF, which is the low filter. Now I could turn that off, which is uh, also going to help with 
you know, sound settings. So we're going to turn that on, and you can tell the difference there in the audio quality. And uh, we're going to turn that back off. There we go. Turn that off. And I can reset everything to default, and it goes back to version 1. Not too shabby. I do like it. If I hit the mute button right here, this is the power button. If I just hit it, So once I hit that mute button, it mutes the mic, and then it'll have a little cross going across the mic icon on the top of the screen there. So 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 far so good, I really like it. And let's get it outside and we'll show you some uh, distance tests and some audio, more audio quality tests. All right guys, so I'm out here across the street from my house and I have the Comica wireless mic set up and I'm gonna do some range testing right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk away from the camera. I have the body pack unit right here in my back pocket. The other one is connected to my camera right now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna walk away and i'm gonna continue talking the whole time and hopefully you can still hear me and we'll see how far this thing can actually reach so here we go all right so this is just a youth football field right here there's some tennis courts over here so a bunch of guys over here playing uh tennis with a volleyball which is kind of weird you know yeah, i'm sure they're having a good time they're yelling and screaming so i'm sure they're having a good time um, I'm pretty far away from the camera now. I'm probably, I don't know, 30 yards or so. And I'm just going to keep walking. So hopefully you can still hear me. So I don't have anybody monitoring my audio. But beautiful day here on the Central Coast. And I'm going to walk over here to this trash can. That should be about, I'd say close to 50 yards or more. So, let's see. All right, I'm over here by the trash can, right by this, uh, <laughs> guys are yelling at screen over here, so I'm going to... Low wind, which is kind of weird on the central coast. It's usually windy, but not that much wind today. But it feels good out. The sun's, the sun's out, nice and warm. All right, so I'm back. Hopefully you can, hopefully that was a good audio quality test for you and range test as well. So let's see how well it sounded and how far I could reach before the uh, sound cut out. All right guys, so that's my review of the Comico wireless mic system. This is their website right here. Definitely wanna make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making some pretty cool camera equipment and inexpensive and pretty high quality. So definitely worth a look at if you're an amateur videographer, if you're just getting into YouTube, you need to get an external mic. Uh, they have mics for smartphones, they have condenser shotgun microphones, they have wireless mic setups, they have all kinds of stuff. So definitely worth a look at in my opinion. Definitely want to make sure you check out Comica. If you guys have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Make sure you leave those down in my comment section down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also too, please like, share, and subscribe. It really means a lot when people subscribe to my channel and like what I have to say about the gear that I'm testing. So thanks for tuning in, I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor related hodgepodge, gear talk, tech and camera reviews, and giveaways. Take care guys, get outdoors.